how long does it take to get some negativity into your day? You know, there's a morning prayer that goes, ah, oh, dear Lord, it is a wonderful day and I am so thankful. I haven't lied, I haven't cheat, I haven't stolen, I haven't thought a bad thought, I haven't even said a swear word. But God, I'm gonna be getting out of bed soon. I'm really gonna need your help the rest of the day. It doesn't take long, right? That is why this Move Her series is all about four biblical affirmations and truths that us ladies can say to ourselves because it's what God says about us. Today, we're gonna to be talking about Ephesians chapter two, verse 10, because we're gonna be talking about, girl, you are God's handiwork. So that verse says, for we are God's handiwork, created in Christ Jesus to do good works, which God prepared in advance for us to do. So let's break this verse down a little bit, okay? The beginning, for we are God's handiwork. Now what that means is that God molded us tenderly with his own hands. He loves us and he intimately knows us. The second part of the verse, we are created in Christ Jesus to do good works. You weren't just created to exist. You weren't just created to binge watch Netflix. You weren't just created to live a meh life. You were created to do so many great and wonderful things because God has good plans for you, plans to change this world and the people in it. And finally, the last part of the verse, which God prepared in advance for us to do. So God isn't just, you know, letting you live life on a whim. He has purposely planned and cultivated your life. He has created you to be an example to others and to lead others to Him. So ladies, if God tells us that we are to do a good work because we are God's handiwork, then your challenge this week is to do a good work because girl, you are God's handiwork meant to do great and wonderful things for other people.